In this video I'm going to be replacing this 39 year old gas furnace which is about 45 percent efficient. With this new ream high efficiency gas furnace 95 percent efficient. It has two stage gas burner and a two speed blower. Here are the sections of ducting already made up, sections for the air return, and the bottom for the top of the furnace. It has a flexible section here that allows to hook up to the existing duct on the top. Okay, we're going to get ready to change the furnace here. We're going to get rid of the old one. Just giving it one last fire up before it's removed. Gas is off. from the old furnace. and then there is the new one next to it 
Okay, now the air return duct is mounted. Just needs a few more screws and then the uh, filter assembly is also installed on the inside. Okay, the hot air duct is all connected to the other part. So just uh, going to start with the gas. Originally it came this way. Um, the height is the same so all I have to do is um, turn off the gas from outside and turn this part that way and then into the side. Okay, now we're up to the gas meter here. I'll just turn that off. Okay, here we have the existing components taken apart. So now we have a selection of fittings here that I'm going to use to connect with. Okay, now the gas is back on, we can relight the water heater. Okay, we're gonna bleed out. Air should be pretty much out. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a flame test.
pressure for the manifold looks about right. 1.7 inches water column at low flame. So the factory setting is good. Okay, the um, PVC vent pipes are uh, being installed here. Elbows are glued in. Okay, now I'm going to check the gas supply pressure. Should be between uh, 5 and 10.5 uh, inches water column. We're just at about uh, 9, so that's okay. One little problem I had here, it must have been a defect even out of the box. Um, this red red tube here, pressure tube which goes to the pressure switches, this end had a split in it and it was just sitting there loose. So yeah, just cut it off and put it back on. Okay, now I'm going to check the uh, bending system for uh, CO leaks. All should be good. Let's see if the meter are getting a bit of a reading of CO and the uh, exhaust flow. Check all the joints, make sure everything is good. Good, nothing much, very low reading. Yeah, system is good. This job is complete. Thanks for watching.